What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and welcome to a brand new series that I'm doing here on the channel and that is building on a budget. So with this series what I plan to do is take some of your favorite decks and build them as competitively as possible for under a hundred dollars. Yes under a hundred dollars the entire deck main deck plus your extra deck for under $100. And oh boy, am I excited for today's video because in today's video, we do Cyber Dragon and we actually build it for way under $100. So if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content just like this one. There's going to be a ton of building on a budget coming to the channel soon. I'm not gonna be uploading them every single day. However, they will be at least once a week is what I'm planning right now, maybe once every other week, but they will be more deck profiles on the channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed for that thank you guys all for watching and i appreciate all the love and support with that guys let's get into the deck profile all right so just before i show off the deck profile i do want to show you guys i have all the items right here in my cart 55 items 40 cards in the main deck 15 in the extra deck and it costs 43 dollars under 50 dollars that's because i tried to optimize it where you can get as many cards as possible from the same seller so you can see here i only have four packages so there's going to be four different sellers only i'm not buying from a bunch of different sellers because this saves me a lot on the shipping costs essentially right so here it is the full deck right here and you guys can get it for under 50 dollars this is building on a budget cyber dragon all right so as you guys saw this entire deck is going to cost you under 50 dollars it's 43 dollars for this entire deck main deck and extra deck and that's the best part about it is you are building on a budget so in today's video like i said we're going to be showing off this deck profile and it is the otk version of cyber dragon being able to build a full deck for under 50 bucks is actually very very budget and this is as competitive as i can make it for this budget so keep that in mind this is not just a deck that's cheap and it won't do anything this is the most competitively viable build and I tried to optimize it like I said earlier by getting as few sellers as possible to save on shipping costs. With that let's get into the deck profile now. We are starting off with the main man himself. Three Cyber Dragon. I don't think you would want to change this at all especially in the OTK build because you are playing machine duplication and with machine dupe Cyber Dragon is your best target of course. So we are playing three Cyber Dragon. Three Cyber Dragon core your best normal summon of the deck. I don't think this needs a lot of explanation. Of course it surges any of your Cyber Speller traps and this is essentially going to get all your combos off right so you need to play three cyber dragon core three cyber dragon hers the reason you're playing three especially in this deck is because within the budget of 50 bucks you can still include something like galaxy soldier and galaxy soldier plus hers is an insane combo because you're going to get a lot of pluses from it you're going to get the galaxy soldier search you're going to get the hers search to search a cyber dragon so you get a lot of advantage and a lot of resources through these so you want to be playing three hers hers is also another cyber dragon name that's important for your fusion spells later so that's why we're playing three hers and then we are playing one veer Veer is actually just pretty good because it's an extender for you. It's another card that's similar to Galaxy Soldier in a sense because all you need to do is you need to normal summon like your core or your hers and then now you can special summon your Veer and then now you can continue to combo from there even if your opponent has some sort of hand traps. Veer is just really good in that sense because it's an extender for you, right? And then we're also playing Stubble Cyber Dragon Nashter. This card is pretty good. It's another extender for you similar to Veer. This just requires another card in hand but the really cool thing about this card is it helps you monster reborn cards and that's always really powerful in the deck like this because you are playing an OTK deck so just being able to push for that extra monster for that extra damage can always be really really good and then we are playing this is the spicy tech that i wanted to show you guys and that is the cyber eltonin this card is actually pretty interesting so it can't be normal summon to set it must be special summon from your hand by banishing all light machine monsters that you control in your field and your graveyard and then its attack and defense become the number that's banished times 500 so essentially this can be really good because it becomes a big body for you but on top of that when it is summoned you send all other face up cards on the field to the graveyard so if you've baited out some of your opponent's negates or your opponent doesn't have any omni negates on the board and you summon your elton and it just sends it doesn't target it doesn't destroy it sends all other face up cards to the graveyard so this card is very spicy in that sense and i really like it because it's also searchable in this deck so a searchable card that can be summoned at any time that can essentially send all cards your opponent controls is also really really good going second and then we are playing the two galaxy soldier like i mentioned the really cool thing about galaxy soldier is you can start your combos off with galaxy soldier without having to commit to your normal summon and then you're going to be able to get access to something like an infinity before you even have to normal summon your core so that's why i like the galaxy soldier at two and then we are playing a mini cyber dark package and i really like this package because going second it can help you otk it does put a lot of pressure on the board and if anything it does bait out a lot of negates without even having to use your normal summon plus cybernetic horizon gives you an extra normal summon so that's why i really really like this package so we're playing the one chimera and the two claw i think that's all you need three cards here we're only playing the one chimera because you're always going to be wanting to search it and this is the card that's going to get you into your power bond to essentially hold 
hopefully try to OTK your opponent. So I like this package right over here. I want to say one thing. So we all talked about already how this deck is an OTK deck. What do you need to do OTK? You need to be able to break your opponent's boards. Some of the best cards in the game that break boards and some of the most budget cards in the game that break boards Kaijus. We're playing three Jizukiru as well as two Godarla. Now, the reason you're playing Jizukiru might be kind of obvious, it might not be. So, for anyone who doesn't know, Jizukiru is a machine. Machine is really good because if you break your opponent's board with the Jizukiru, let's say they have a monster that you might have trouble outing, right? You can just Jizukiru, get rid of that monster. But now Jizukiru is on their board, and you guys might be thinking, but it's 3300 attack, what am I going to do? I have to attack over it, whatever. You don't really, because any Cyber Dragon name can contact fuse this away, and then essentially now you've gotten rid of that card on your opponent's side of the field. So, I really like the three Jizukiru it's kind of obvious i like to play the godarla as well because as of right now thunderies is still a really really good deck and they still play barrier statue and because you're playing this deck on a budget you may not have a lot of outs to the barrier statue unfortunately your normal summons here are not over a thousand attack other than i guess the veer so potentially you can out the barrier statue if you have the veer but in general barrier statue does become pretty difficult to out and godarla is one of those cards that outs it because it's a win for you so if you draw your godarla you can kaiju over the barrier statue pretty easily so that's why i'm playing the two here and then we are playing three cyber emergency this card can pretty much search anything in your deck the really cool thing is it can search your cyber elton in and then it can also search any of your cyber dragons as well so you can start this off to search into a core normal summon your core get all your combos off so emergency is very important here and then we're playing the one repair plant repair plant's also really good you're pretty much always going to get this off if you just have a core or you have an emergency in your hand so you're good there and then we are playing of course the otk build so we're playing three machine dupe if your opponent sees you normal summon core and ashes you right there and you have machine dupe in hand you're winning the game because as soon as machine dupe resolves you just have a way too much advantage and you're going to be able to win the game with just machine dupe so you're going to want to be playing the three of this like i said earlier we are playing cybernetic horizon we're playing three of them the reason we're playing three cybernetic horizon is it gives you an extra normal summon so it's kind of an extender in that sense but it also sends a lot of cards in your graveyard that makes your fusion cards live stuff like overload fusion stuff like cyberload fusion and stuff like power bond so i, I want to mention these three as well we're playing one of each the nice thing is power bond as well as cyberload fusion are both searchable unfortunately overload is not that searchable but cyberload and power bond are both searchable power bond obviously by your chimera cyberload obviously by your cyber dragon core so these are searchable cards and the really cool thing is this stacks up your graveyard because if you guys don't know chimera lets you use power bond from your graveyard as well so it kind of makes it like a miracle fusion so it's really cool in that sense so you're going to stack up your graveyard with this and then be able to power bond essentially to make a really powerful monster and that requires basically no normal summon or no extenders if you just start your combo off with a claw in your hand and then you get to horizon you're pretty much have the full combo going so that's why i really like these three fusion spells i wouldn't change these i really like these three and then of course we are playing three kaiju slumber again we want to break boards if you don't see your kaijus in your opening hand slumber is one of those cards that just dark holes your opponent and then puts kaijus on the field and the really cool thing is if you put a jizukiro on your opponent's side of the field that's the only monster they have you normal summon any of your cyber dragons you contact fuse it away boom you have an otk potential just right there right so you want to be playing three of these the really cool thing about playing three of these as well is it's going to bait a lot of your opponents negates so if your opponent has something like an ash or a spell a trap negate etc etc you can just start off by activating this sometimes just to bait out that negate because once that negate's gone you can do all the other cyber dragon stuff which is really cool so we are playing three of these and then funny enough cyber rev system is a card i wanted to play in here but it's like seven dollars and i was like you know what i really want to keep this as budget as possible and so you can get like a common monster reborn for like 40 cents or something like that so we're playing the monster reborn here instead of the cyber rev system and that's it 40 card main deck i think this main deck is really really good it's as competitive as you can get for the budget that we're under and then i think this deck is just very consistent as well you're still doing exactly what you want to do if you want honestly you could even include a red reboot here i think you can get red reboot for like 40 to 50 cents as well so you can include a red reboot here so we can deal with back row matchups i'm not showing you guys a side deck here but i guess in your side deck as well you would probably want to put in a red reboot honestly even with the side deck i just realized you would probably only have to commit another like five to ten bucks if you're grabbing cards at low rarity because you can play like msts which are commons for like 25 cents each you can get the red reboot which is like 40 to 50 cents so if you commit another like five to ten bucks you can probably get this deck for just about 50 bucks right now we're at 43 right so you can just probably get this deck even with the side deck for just about 50 maybe 55 bucks tops so let me know in the future if you guys want to see a side deck as well with the building on a budget videos right with this series but i'm just showing you guys that for the main deck and the side deck under 
50 bucks. You can probably get it for just around 50 with the side deck as well. So that's it for the main deck. It's a 40 card main deck. And then for the extra deck here, we're playing the one Cyber End Dragon. This is pretty much what you're always going to be sending off the Cybernetic Horizon. So that's why we're playing the one of this. We're playing the Cyber Eternity Dragon. This card's really good. The really cool thing is it requires one Cyber Dragon monster and any two machine monsters. So if you're actually making this with your power bond, potentially, it becomes really powerful because you can use any two machines with the Cyber Dragon. So you can even use the GZQs that are in your graveyard, which is really cool. So that's why I like playing the Cyber Eternity. Two Chimera Tech Mega Fleet, one of the Cyber Twin, as well as two Chimera Tech Fortress. Now, Mega Fleet and Fortress are really good because that's how you contact Fuse and break your opponent's boards. Uh, Cyber Twin Dragon is really good with Cyber Load Fusion specifically because you can make this in the battle phase and then it can attack twice. So this can help you push for game as well. So I like playing the Cyber Twin Dragon. Then we're playing the one Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. With a build like this, you only just really want to play one. This just helps you push for game. And this is also another card that you can make off the Power Bond when you search it with Chimera because once you make this, it becomes 4200 with Power Bond that can attack three times. This card by itself is an OTK card. And then pretty much the most expensive, I would say it's the most expensive card in the deck. I think it runs for like three bucks, three to four bucks is the Cyber Dragon Infinity. We're playing two as well as two Nova. This is pretty much the only negate that you're putting up on your side of the field. And again, like I said, this is really easy to make because we're playing the two Galaxy Soldiers. So because we're playing the Galaxy Soldiers, you can make Infinity really easily without even having to commit your normal summon. So these are really, really good. I don't think I'd change these at all. Then for the Link Monsters, we're only playing three Link Monsters, but these are the three that you need. The one Cyber Dragon Seeger. This card is obviously really important. It helps you OTK as well. Helps you make your Cyber Dragons a little bit higher attack. So Seeger is really important. We're playing the one Almirage. And Almirage is actually really important because you actually need this for the Cyber Repair Plant. So the reason I say that is because let's say you normal summon your core and you search a Cyber Repair Plant, you actually need a Cyber Dragon in the graveyard for this to be live. So for that reason, you're going to link one your core away into your Almirage. So that essentially makes your Repair Plant live. So Almirage is really important in that sense. Another card that's kind of important in that sense is Anima. Anima is also really good going second because it helps you break boards. You can even sometimes just Kaiju your opponent, summon a Cyber Dragon Hers, and then you can link the Hers into Anima. And then if you put the Kaiju under the extra monster zone, then you can Anima take it back. So it becomes really, really powerful in that sense as well. So Anima is another really good card, but it also gets Hers in the graveyard, which means you get Hers effect, which also means you have Repair Plant live. So that's it for the deck. It's a 40 card main deck, 15 card extra deck. It's building on a budget, $43 for this entire thing. And I'm going to be honest with you, you can probably get it for 50 to 55, including a side deck. Again, let me know in the future if you guys want to see side decks in these videos. But uh, yeah, 43 bucks for an entire deck. So I think that's pretty good. I'll be honest with you. And this is as competitively viable as it can get. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Today was the first of the building on a budget deck profiles. Now there are a lot of decks that I have planned. I also asked in a community post what you guys want to see. And I did get some cool comments down there as well. So I'll be looking at those. And if you guys have any other suggestions or ideas, let me know in the comment section down below in this video as well. And I can get it done for you. So building on a budget episode one was today. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have any suggestions, any ideas, let me know. But again, we were only at $43, 44. Let's round up to $44 today. And that's really it. That's all it takes to build a competitive deck and be able to play with it. So thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy, or if you guys want to see any of the other content, we upload five days a week here on Spanko. Appreciate every single one of you. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.